there's the. Hold on. I need to make sure it's recording. There. Alright, so I'm going to be doing Kristen Stewart's Snow White um, hair. And she actually wore on the exact same hairstyle for um, this thing. Put an annotation right there. And it's right over here on my screen. And she wore it for um, some late night thing. I forget which one, but she wore that, and she was really pretty in it. I have to admit, but um, well, I mean, she is kind of pretty overall. But <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna do her makeup that she wore for that thing as well. So I'll start with the hair, since that's probably what most of you came here for. So we're gonna start by parting our hair, your hair, everybody's hair. Um, over on the right, it's a really deep, um, part. It starts, like, way over here. Just like that. And then what she wore, I'm pretty sure, because there's only one picture out of her in, um, the Snow White and the Huntsman, um, movie posters. And I found that on Google as well. And you can look th at that right here. And so I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of interested in how she portrayed Snow White, though, because I don't know. Do you think of her as, like, Snow White Princess? Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think about it. So, alright, so what we're going to do is have kind of a small little French braid going. It starts at the top. I'm really slow at braiding, though, so I'm sorry if this takes a while. But kind of a messy French braid, so you don't have to be perfect about it. And if you don't know how to French braid, then here's how you do it. <laughs> so you just start out like a normal braid, and you braid it twice. And I bet some of you already know this, but I'll do it anyway. And then you pull some extra hair into your next braid part. Like that. And then you just keep going, grabbing more hair as you braid. Yeah, that's not very detailed of a tutorial, but okay. <laughs> you can... I actually might make a, another one just about braiding. Uh, another one. Another video. So, hold on. I can't see. I'm trying to look into the mirror above you, but it's kind of hard to see over you. I really like this kind of crown braid look. I'm going to wear it more often. I did it last night and it looks kind of nice, so... Use it more often. Maybe not as messy as she makes it, but I don't know. I kind of like that look. Hers is kind of more pronounced than mine is, but you can make it however you want. Just take more hair as you go, or less hair if you want it more neat. Let's see, how far does she go? So, I'll just keep going a little bit over where my ear is. Just like that. And then what she does, at least in that picture, she's wearing a bun, a very tight bun in the back. So, I'm going to end it in a couple more little gray bits. I hate it when I get to, like, over here and then I run out of hair and then I have to, like, borrow hair from the other side. <laughs> it's like if you're invited to a party and they're like, bring a friend, and you're like, I don't have a friend. <laughs> if anyone invites you at all. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> That didn't make much sense. Ah, it's getting tangled down here. I should have brushed it first. Alright, well, I'm almost done over here anyway. So, do 
one more. Ugh, so tangly. All right, so that looks good. You're okay. So just what's going on is French braid it to around here. And now, I really should have brushed it first. Uh, I'm gonna pull it back, just like you're gonna make a ponytail. And if you watched my Princess Leia um, hair tutorial, it's going to be just like one of those, only one bun. So it should look like that. Once you're done, then you can bobby pin it in here a couple times so that it doesn't lose its um, roll up thing. <laughs> well, I can't find a bobby pin, so I'll just use this clip like I did in the last hair thing I did. And clip it up. And this isn't exactly. Hold on. I can't hear me. This isn't exactly like how she does it in Snow White, but I noticed that she had a French braid going like this, and her was, hers was kind of like bundled up in the back. I don't know exactly what she did to do that, but next, what I'm going to do is make it a little messier. I know I've got tweezers out. Make it a little messier by pulling out little hairs and then making it like a little messier, like in that picture that I linked down there and over here. So I'm just going to take my tweezers. You can take any kind of like thin pokey thing to kind of pick out some little hairs. Shh. That's kind of too short. I'm going to take one a little bit more towards the middle. Take it out. And you can take as many out as you want. Or you don't have to take any out at all. I'm just going to take out a few long bits, bits of hair. But, but I did this last night just to test it out. And it worked out pretty well. I liked it. You can take as long ones as you want out as you want. As you, I don't know what I'm saying. quite a few out. I'll put this one behind my ear. And I'll take one more out. Like that. And now uh, you should take probably like oops, like your hair clay or um, anything that's going to keep it down. Hairspray, which I'm going to use. This giant bottle of hairspray. It's bonus size. But I'm, this one might spray into my face. And I don't have my hair clay. So I'm going to use this um, Nexus Super Hold. Just like spray into my hand like it's hair clay. Just take a little bit and make it into like little strings. It's kind of getting all sticky in my hand. What will happen to my screen? Just like that. Oh, it didn't work out. Alright, looks like I'm going to have to use this one. Don't spray in your eyes. I'm just wanting it to like hang down like hers is because it's like all in one piece that each of her little tendrils is hang <laughs> tendrils I don't know and you can like curl it around your finger if you want if you want it more curly I like curly at least wavy this one's okay no no
that. And like I said, you can make it however messy you want it to be. Or you don't even have to do a full step at all, which I already did as well. <laughs> That's really it. I mean, oops, stick that behind my ear. It's a pretty easy hairstyle if you think about it, but I like it. It's really feminine, but also kind of, I don't know, damsel in distress, like Snow White. It pulls in the back. You can hairspray this if you want. Now you can also spray this one. <coughs> oh. So there you go. And if you don't want to see, um, if you do want to see this makeup hair hairstyle, makeup look, uh, I'm going to do that right now. Which is the one that she wore this with. I think that got in my mouth. Ugh. So what I'm going to use is just like, uh, just any like black eyeliner because her her makeup is like really dark in this one. And this isn't what she wore to Snow White. This is um just what she wore to that thing. I don't remember what it was. I did my makeup but I'm just going to go right over it. I'm just going to apply it all over my lid. I don't know if you can see this. not a very good eyeliner. It's like color workshop. Yeah, I'm doing it pretty sloppy here because I'm running out of time. Yeah. Ugh, each of my videos ends up being like 15 minutes. I don't know why. At least YouTube is letting me make them long now. Oh, I'm so sloppy. So then each video takes like, I don't know, 255 minutes? I don't know to upload each of them, so, yeah, can't upload too many. I want, like, a really dark black, but all I have is really, like, super dark gray, like I showed you in that one video, this dark gray, but, let me just check. I don't want to take up your time. Oh, that's empty. Yeah, this one poured out into my makeup box so I can't use it anymore. So I just wash it on or refill it with something else probably. Uh, everything I open is like purple and blue. And black. Ah, here's black. Perfect. Here we go. Alright, so I'm just going to take this dark black. Use any dark black that you want. It's kind of sparkly for some reason. I don't like this one. Here, it sounds better. I'm just using this to set the eyeliner and make it a little darker. Whoa, that's dark. Oh, I'm so sloppy. Alright, do this neater, but I, I just don't have time. I'm just applying it all over the lid. 
like she does. Oh my goodness, that's dark. Alright, then I'm going to take... Where's it? Oh, this, this cover girl, um, oh my goodness, what happened to the back? <laughs> Some sort of brown from CoverGirl. I don't know what brown. And take this stubby end. Just apply it up here. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I'm so much better at doing it with my fingers. And they call it a smoky eye, but I mean, it's not exactly a smoky eye since it doesn't really like blend so much, but. I guess kind of, but it's not like brown and pink. Yeah, I'm gonna use a pink in a second. Oh my goodness. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to fix this later, but well, I'm not gonna wear this to like a grocery store or anything, but. This isn't exactly what she did, because I don't. Everything that happened sounds like a movie. And you can blend it together if you like. The camera isn't really picking up the brown, but it's there. And I'm I'm gonna take this because she doesn't do that. But I take a highlighter, CoverGirl Champagne. And the brown bone. Let's go up. Highlight over here. You can blend it. I really like this color. It's so pearly and sparkly. My mom gave it to me because she doesn't really like sparkles in her makeup, but I like it. It's more teenager Oh dear. Oh my goodness. I just messed that up. Hold on. Yeah, this can get messy. Alright. I'm gonna mess with that. Alright, now I'm gonna take this bright pink or you can take red if you want. They say it's red. I think it's pink. It's bright pink right here. I'm going to take it with this little fluffy brush. <laughs> it's fluffy. <laughs> it's kind of like a sparkly, um, kind of bright melon. I don't know. more sparkly, of course, but I don't have a sparkly one. Right now, I'm just going to take this brush. Yeah, that's better. I should have tested this first, because it's not turning out like I want it to, but oh well. Makeup has such bad fallout. It crumbles a lot. 